I can't even see this is how how little it is to give you perspective I can literally just Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Intramuros, a really exciting place located in the city of Manila. We got here and that was a bit of a mission. Me and Christine, we pretty much learned how to get here on the go, but we figured it out. And if you haven't seen that video, please have a look. It will be really useful for you to know how to get here. Anyway, so what this place is, it's got a some history to it and we're just going to walk around and show you guys it's actually pretty cool we saw on instagram and stuff and people were posting so super super excited about it this one here you just walk around there's no entry fee so far we haven't paid anything and as soon as you enter you get bombarded by these tour guides or so and they pretty much tell you that take a tour so you can do that or you can just do a self tour, which me and Christian, we're gonna do it. Because we're smart kids, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> That's what we like to think. So the guy, as soon as we enter, the one who was trying to sell the tour, and he kept saying, oh, the road's closed, the road closed. So that could be, and I'm like, mate, you just said to us that uh, we're just gonna do a tour. So the road's closed. It won't be just closed for us, it'll be closed for everyone. I'm pretty sure that's probably his trick to make you think, oh, what can we do then? And then he will just suck you into this, selling in the tour. Uh, if that's what you want, sure, but. There's like a bit, of a bit of a walk. You just go through this. I think it's one of those places where you can walk around and come across these different buildings, different places. It's like a little hub. That's one way to travel. You just keep stopping and keep asking. Someone will tell you something. We good? Okay. We're going the right way. You're my tour guide and you're asking other people. I have no complaint, as long as we make it. Yep, I just want to make sure. <laughs> That's good. Double, triple checking. This building looks very old. Look at those windows. Is it a prison? It's a, it's a church. It's a church? Like a Santiago church. Uh, right. So they got the big windows with the metal bars. Oh, it looks fancy inside. I just had a little glimpse. Look at that door. That is a door. Jeez, for a second I thought that kid was real. It's a statue. All right, interesting. And now uh, we're gonna head into what it, to me it looks like some sort of markets or the shops. Right, a little food market. Yeah, yeah, Christian found something. Initially, we thought it'd be just maybe a couple of streets and a couple of buildings, but this is huge. It's definitely spread out in a few kilometers. It's got this colonial touch to it. Like obviously the Philippines got a history of colonialism as well. So you definitely see the reflection of that. And they are doing some road works and construction. Some dog already walked through the cement erected good on doggy left this paw print another wedding it's day to get married really? 
<laughs> it's a day to get married. Well, probably. Come on, guys. Look at her. She's no pressure, but pressure. <laughs> Hello, horsey. <laughs> Ooh, nice face piece, buddy. Whoa, interesting. So this is exit only. Right, it's got Fort Santiago. All right, to enter this park, uh, the fee is 75. Yeah, it does say something. Look, here. So we can quickly have a skim read built to fortify something, something, something. Solid curtain walls. Destroyed by Earthquake 1645. Military used it. Something, something. It's part of history now. Okay, cool. That's all we need to know. It's old, it's part of history. I mean, it's such a shame that they the charge you for this. I mean, it seems like a nice place for people just just come out and hang out in general but anyway it is what it is 75 pesos not too bad but I'm thinking of the more for like a locals oh hang on a second it actually goes through that that little tunnel there it is a nice murky green water that looks disgusting anyway we'll continue And uh, we're into another park. These walls are thick. I don't know what they're designed for. I don't know what, what they're thinking, how bad were their enemies. They're chunky. about to enter this dungeon where this national hero was kept in prison. Here it is. It's a tiny little, I can't even, see this is how, how little it is. To give you perspective, I can literally just, and I'm sitting down and my head can literally touch the roof cavity. And here it is. Be depressing in here, and then what do you got a little bit of window for fresh air, or what's the go? Right. Maybe that's where they drop them food and stuff. Oh, it's definitely got a, some scary history to it. They build this this dungeon with some purpose. So I'm guessing these metal the reinforcement is part of preservation. And I can go through here. I'll meet you on the other side, Christine. Ta da! This would be a good place for hide and seek. And it continues. But that depicts to be a prison guard. All right, guys, there it is. So what does that say? They did not prevent prisoners from actually dying while incarcerated. Oh, okay. Conditions were so cramped. All prisoners died from suffocation and heat exhaustion. Of course, the bodies were subsequently buried and mass on the near side, the dungeon, which is now marked by the white marble cross. So, okay, so that marble cross out there, so the prisoners who died here, the bodies are buried underneath that. So that 
that, so that's, that's a mark for that. There we go. We're learning more stuff. Time to get out. Another piece of history. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Any questions, put it down in the comment box below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. There'll be more stuff coming up. So press the bell icon so every time I post a new video, you'll get the notification straight away. We're still exploring and this is the other part where the, the roof cavity or not the, had a bit of a breach where I thought they must be feeding the prisoners from. Or maybe just the source of fresh air, the circulation. Still pretty poor conditions down there.